I'm Kai, I'm Coach Dubai, we're so going through our first team, how we're going to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kai, Cole, Adventures. Come on in. Come on in. Hey Kai, what are you reading about? I'm reading this book on tarantulas. What are you reading? I'm reading this book about reptiles. I think tarantulas are way better than reptiles. No, I think reptiles are better than tarantulas. Prove it. Okay, I will. This is Lizzie the bearded dragon. I know he's acting a little crazy. So, bearded dragons are a type of reptile. They're like from Australia, like north or south of us. South Australia, like some of the things they they eat is crickets, some of these vegetables, um, insects, even mice and, and actually other reptiles. Um, these are a few reasons why bearded dragons are better than spiders. Okay, because I have one, and um, like bearded dragons. Like other lizards, um, they if they get their tail cut off, it it grows back. But with bearded dragons, that doesn't happen. I I don't know you're thinking about bearded dragon. Um, it doesn't if they're real dragons. No, they're not like fire breathing dragons. Even though they do have sharp claws, they do have really sharp claws and a big tail. But they're not like real dragons, like fire breathing dragons. Like, um, bearded dragons are really cool because I really like reptiles. And while his skin is peeling off, is because he's like shedding. Like, a lot of all reptiles shed. And if you try to get leopard geckos and um, reptiles, amphibians and reptiles confused, here are, are a few reasons why they're not the same. Some people think leopard geckos are actually reptiles, but they're not. They're amphibians. Like an amphibian is like a frogs and stuff like that. They they are born in the water, and then they sometimes transfer their land or stay in the water. Reptiles are like they could be born on land and then transfer the water. Water like crocodiles and some snakes and turtles. Like turtles go in water. They they they're born in land and then they go to water. Crocodiles are born in land and then go to water. Like most reptiles. Just like bearded dragons. Yeah. Hey Cole, what are you doing? I'm telling I'm just telling people how bearded dragons are better than tarantulas. What? Well it's my turn. Peace. here and welcome to the world of the webs this is my pet spider miles and i'll be telling you all about spiders to prove to you that they're better than uh, reptiles okay miles is a spider he's not venomous enough to actually hurt you he'd only hurt you really if he bit you if you were as small as a one piece of the dust so yep it's miles if you rub him, his hair hairs will stick on to you, and then trust me, you don't want that happening to you. And also, you know the type of tarantula Miles is? It's a pink toe tarantula. Unlike most spiders, it has actual nails on it, and they're pink. That's why it's called a pink toe tarantula. And also, its nails are probably sharper than any lizards. So. Probably you can scratch up a lizard easily. And Miles, of course, like most spiders, they climb onto walls and stick onto them, like he's doing now. And also, it doesn't exactly like eat its prey in front of you. It won't like chew it up like some lizards and make it look scary and all bloody and stuff. It will be like a Miles will be like this. He'll just bite his prey, right? And then the venom will turn it, his prey inside to like a kind of soup. And then he'll drink the soup out. 
So yeah, he's just like a human. All he does is eat soup. So yeah, he's a great, great spider, and he is awesome. He also drinks water the same way he drank juice too. And yes, he is a type of jumping spider. So like once my dad was shaking the cage and he jumped off the side and jumped into his egg, which is usually in the cage, it's just not in right now. So the first time I got Miles, it was for a science project. And the, my experiment was what will make Miles move? Because at the time he didn't move much. He still doesn't move much. So yes, we I tried giving him a we tried using a flashlight. We tried using crickets. We tried use putting him together. We tried moving his cage. And we tried putting doing it at night. It worked at night and it worked with the crickets. It didn't work putting it together. What together meant was I put it together with my old spider, KC, which we have given away. That's my mom's fault. So, yep, now we only have one spider, and it's Miles. And now I hope you think this spider is way better than Cole's Lizzie or any other reptile. 